All right, we're here at SEC Basketball Media Days. It's my pleasure to be joined by first-year LSU head coach Matt McMahon. Coach, good to see you. Great to be here. Excited to be here. Uh, there's a little chill in the air. <laughs> that kind of tells us that it's time to go inside and watch some hoops, right? Yeah, hard to believe. We're just uh, three weeks from today, season opener. Uh, it's been an awesome first seven months in Baton Rouge. Uh, I've really enjoyed our, our players. Uh, and now it's the fun part for me, and, and that's trying to build a team. And so, uh, like I say, we'll start to find out here three weeks from today. Uh, certainly going to be a process, but can't say enough good things about our players and our team. Been a, been a lot of fun to coach them. Uh, these preseason predictions will always take place, whether you were picked first or last. Yeah. I don't think it would really matter, right, in terms of your approach. I think you're picked right there in the middle. But. Yeah, I've never been a big fan of the, the preseason awards and, and predictions. Uh, I know that's part of it, and it generates a lot of excitement, and it means the season's almost here. Um, you know, but as I told our players yesterday, you know, as a senior in college, I was – Pick preseason uh, all conference, and, and I averaged eight points a game. And <laughs> I'm still waiting on my plaque for my preseason award. So uh, there weren't any awards that year for me. So all that'll matter is you know how we're able to build a team. And uh, I have no idea where we're picked to finish. I would have assumed we'd be picked last. I mean, our, our leading returning scorer is four points a game. Uh, so. Uh, like I say, I'm very excited about the team, but, but we certainly have a long way to go. Tell me about the two young men you uh, took to Birmingham today and K.J. Williams, who played for you at Murray State and was the uh, conference player of the year, right? And then Adam Miller, we've been talking about him for a long time uh, in terms of what he can mean to this team. Well, I love both. Uh, you know, Different phases of my relationship with them. I've, I've known K.J. Williams for seven years. I've known Adam Miller for seven months. Uh, but both have been fantastic, really good players, uh, but more importantly, high character people. Uh, KJ's a guy who's 6'10, 260 pounds, player of the year in our league last year at Murray State. Uh, and now he gets the opportunity to do it here in the SEC as a fifth year senior. Adam, uh, you know, really uh, great story. You know, had, had the terrific freshman season at Illinois, uh, USA under 19 Olympic or uh, under 19 gold medal winner and then has the brutal knee injury and uh, has just been relentless in his discipline and his work ethic to get back. Incredibly smart player, uh, competitor. Uh, I think both are going to have to develop into leaders uh, for our team this year to be successful. LSU is an exciting place. We're in the middle of football season right now, and they're making a nice little surge here. And we know about LSU baseball, but where does LSU basketball fit? Like, you know, I grew up in the superstar era. They would call it the Chris Jackson, Mahmoud Abdul, right. Shaquille O'Neal, the Dale Brown excitement and whatnot, and John Brady going to the Final Four in 2006. Uh, what, what can LSU basketball mean in Baton Rouge? Well, I think we just capitalize on all the other great teams and the great coaches that we have at LSU. It's one of the most powerful brands in all of sports. Uh, I think when you look at the passion and pride that the fan base has in, in LSU, all sports, uh, you see gymnastics fills the PMAC. Uh, you see the crowds at the baseball stadium, at the box. You see, obviously, Saturdays in Tiger Stadium. Uh, I think people want a winner. Uh, people respect uh, the players and teams that play with great effort, great unselfishness, uh, with a lot of energy, and that's certainly the type of team we want to build, uh, put a product out on the court that, that fans can get behind and enjoy watching play. Uh, you like the building, uh, the PMAC, and uh, everything it presents for home games? Yeah, I think it's a great atmosphere, loud. Uh, when you watch some of the film, uh, obviously having the name Pistol Pete behind it uh, is, is special. And uh, looking forward to having the opportunity to, to take the floor here three weeks from tonight. You've had a positive energy ever since you got the job. There's a lot of people talking about what could be coming with NCAA sanctions and whatnot. But it seems like all of you guys are just hey, ma trying to ma make the most out of each day, maximize it, and <laughs> we can't worry about what we can't control. Yeah, I, I think you saw Commissioner Sankey's uh, comments earlier this week here at Media uh, Day. And, uh, you know, for us, yeah, weren't a part of it. Uh, all I can do is control the things we can control. So we're just focused on building the best team we can this year, laying a foundation and, and really establishing the culture of what we want LSU basketball to look like for many years to come. So I uh, said it at the first press conference. I came here uh, because it's a once in a lifetime opportunity for me and my family to be a part of a special place like LSU. And we're here to move the basketball program forward. 
if you listen to the outside noise, I guess you could have panicked, you know, when there was, what, zero scholarship <laughs> players on the roster at sure. one point. Everyone said the sky is falling. We're going to win five games this year. But you and your staff did a pretty miraculous job to build the roster that you built in a short period of time. Well, we're excited with uh, considering the circumstances where we landed. Um, yeah, I'm always going to tell the truth. It was a little bit overwhelming when I first got here and you realize there's no one on the team. Uh, <laughs> but I was really fortunate. We hired an elite coaching staff. We've got great people on our staff. Uh, a lot of experience. Uh, people have been very successful in recruiting, won a lot of games at different places. Uh, I've had success in the NCAA tournament at different places. Uh, so we just methodically went about the process of building our roster, try to balance our classes a little bit, balance our positional needs on the court, and uh, excited with where we landed. And uh, now we have to take these talented players uh, and build them into a team. And, and as I stated earlier, to me, that's that's one of the more fun parts of the job. Scott Woodward, the athletic director, has used the word alignment a lot to talk about football, but I'm sure the message is the same with you, right? Uh, what kind of support is he giving you? Oh, he's been awesome. Uh, one of the many reasons I came here, you've seen his uh, success, uh, not only in hiring coaches, but in helping develop coaches. Uh, you know, I'm certainly far from a finished product. I'm hoping to get better each and every day. Uh, so I wanted to align uh, just as I was aligned at Murray State with elite leadership and uh, be surrounded by all these great coaches that we have here at LSU, always trying to, to learn and get better from them. Uh, so I think that organizational alignment is, is going to be critical to our success, uh, that we have every member of our, our program from players to coaches to managers to our administration aligned with the same mission, same goals, and, and methodically go about the process of, of building. Let's end on a lighter note here. What's <laughs> the pressure like when you know you're working for the most popular and most well-known college basketball sports information director in the country <laughs> in Kent Lowe? The, the legendary stories that you continue <laughs> to hear year after year, I would assume he's probably the most tenured uh, person here at the uh, SEC Media Day. Uh, I think he told me this was his uh, 32nd, would be his 35th if it weren't for the uh, COVID years. That's but, right. Uh, he's been awesome, and uh, you know, it's a great resource for me. I, I'm uh, excited about learning about the history and tradition of, of LSU basketball, and he certainly is a wealth of information there. <laughs> you will, you will hear the student section at one point chant, "Kent, Kent, Kent." You will hear it at, <laughs> at one point. So uh, awesome. we look forward to a great season. Thanks for, so much for the time, Coach. Thanks so much. Looking forward to it. Matt McMahon here at SEC Basketball Media Days.